Miss passes, skying the shot and tripping over the ball. Mistakes happen in football more often than we think. And with 60,000 people watching you like hawks, it only adds to the pressure. So what can you do to skyrocket your confidence and minimize your mistakes? Let's get into it. The more simple something is, the less it can go wrong. In football, the flashy stuff seems great. The step overs, the tricks, the flicks can all make you seem like a baller, but they are no more efficient than a simple body feint or change of speed. In fact, I'd argue that the body feint and change of speed is way more effective than those tricks or flicks that you're doing. Keeping things simple can help you make less mistakes and therefore not ruin your confidence in a game because you keep on making the same mistakes over and over again. This does not mean that you don't take risks at all. It just means that you don't overcomplicate things when you're trying to beat your opponent. Of course, go for that long ball, go for that throw pass, and beat your opponents whenever you have the chance and you feel confident doing so. But always remember that even the most complicated things have simple solutions to them. So figure those out and your life will be so much more easier. Instead of going for a sombrero, or a rainbow flick, just try and beat them with a body feint or simple change of speed. And just because something is simple, doesn't mean it is less effective or it does not have any value. Number 2. Nervousness is misplaced excitement Being nervous is a privilege. Not everyone gets to do what they love and they especially do not get to put in hours, days, months, if not years into doing what they love to become efficient and professional in it. It just goes to show that you care so much about something that you don't want to mess it up. It just goes to show how dedicated you are to the sport and how much of effort you have put to get yourself to the place that you are today and how far more you want to go in your sport. Always remember that nervousness is a privilege that very few get and the fact that you care so much about something is a good sign. The next time you feel nervous, just remember that you're actually really excited, you just need to change its course. Number 3. If you keep messing it up, always make three easy moves. Now if you keep messing up your dribbling in the game, take a step back and skip the dribbling for a while. Maybe make three simple passes that require one or two touch to regain your confidence back. And if you keep messing up your passes, then maybe try winning the ball back for your team. Remember that just because you don't receive the ball, it doesn't mean you're not doing a good job. If you force the opponent to make a mistake and your team regains possession even though it's not you who gets the ball, you have still done a great job by giving your team back possession as long as you prevent the opposition from advancing in some sort of way, you are still helping your team and even though it might not seem that you are directly contributing to the attack, the fact that you don't let the opposition attack is a help itself. Number 4. Make sure you're prepared Lack of confidence comes from lack of preparation. And like Kobe Bryant once said, confidence comes from preparation. If you've done it a thousand times in training, in game, it's only one more. So make sure you work on your weaknesses and if you want to know how to do it in the most effective way, then check out this video right here where I talk about three easy steps that can get you to your goals as quick as possible. Also, another way to accelerate your performance in the game is to ask yourself, what is the one thing that if I improve today would benefit my game the most? And most of the time, you would know what you need to work on and that would give you a clearer picture Then you can go out there and put your work in it. And sometimes your lack of confidence isn't due to lack of preparation. It's because something a teammate has said to you in training or because you made a lot of mistakes in a particular training session. And if you want to know how to overcome performance anxiety for good, then I recommend you check out this video right here. But thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.